Tut Nerd here. It is November 13th, 2013. Today we're going to show you how to set up an SQL database on GoDaddy's new cPanel hosting. Um, you'll notice if you're using the new cPanel hosting at GoDaddy, it looks quite a bit different than um, their proprietary backend hosting, and rightfully so. cPanel is um, tried and proven. Uh, it has rapid deployment of applications like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, PHP, BB, SMF, and so on and so forth. But if you are trying to install a web application like the Bulletin that requires you to manually set it up because GoDaddy does not include it in their uh, rapid deployment, you would need to set up an SQL database. So without further ado, and I'm not going to sit here and be long-winded, you would be in your control panel you would navigate down to databases you would click on my sql databases once you've done that you're going to see uh, create a database orange button right here so i'm just going to call this uh, tut nerd i'm going to name the database tut nerd i'm going to hit create database it says that it added the database tut nerd i'm going to click go back now before you can use that database you need to create a user. So you see there's already a couple of users in here. I'm using my friend's account actually because I, did, I haven't purchased the new cPanel at GoDaddy yet. So I'm gonna go down to add a new user and I'll just put tut13. I'm gonna type a password, make sure that it's strong enough for it to like it. I'm going to hit create user. It said that it create it added the user tut13 with the password of pa55 word bang. I'm going to go back. Now the last thing that you got to do is you have to give that user permission to use that database. So we're going to scroll down and to the right of where we put add new user, you will see add user to database. So I'm going to scroll down to tut13. I'm going to add it to database tut nerd. I'm going to click add. It's going to come up with a screen that says, what privileges do you want to allow the user tut 13 to use? Well, we're going to need them all. So I'm going to click add all privileges, make changes, done. And that my friends is how to set up a MySQL database on the new GoDaddy cPanel hosting. Quick and easy, just three simple steps. Please rate and subscribe.